Hey everybody, Mac to Monster here, back with Marvel Heroes, patch 2.1. We got the Punisher. Um, not a lot of changes on the Punisher either, just uh, some improvements in his damage. So his skills really haven't altered, they've moved around a little bit. Um, Chemical Mine has added a weakness effect to it, it's only 10%, but an enemy is hit by it, deal less. 10% less damage. Uh, the proximity mine puts the vulnerability where they take more damage to it. And uh, killer instinct. I don't think it's really changed, but it's damage rating. And the reason I really bring it up is because damage rating is paying out more than anything. A lot of the stats have been normalized, uh, meaning defense, crit, dodge. They're all floating at that 25-30% mark uh, just based on stats. You really, hit, really have to pump a lot of points from a lot of gear and really go hardcore to get some high numbers off of it, and it just doesn't pay out. Where damage at high, at high levels, um, a thousand damage rating is about 25% extra damage across all your skills. And where um, at lower levels, I mean, it's much more. So it just pays out to go for that damage, and it's so much easier to go for damage rating. And with the changes with dodge only doing 50% less damage instead of 100, uh, you know, hit points and hit point regeneration are truly coming into their, their kingdom again. Uh, the previous uh, defense rework, I said hit point and hit point and regen was the way to go, and now it's really the way to go. Um, so for the Punisher, I got the Mr. Smith build. And for that, we're going to go with Killer Instinct. Where is that? And we're going to maximize that because that damage rating, that's a lot of extra damage to unaware targets. And we're going to be coming across several of those. Uh, Cold-Blooded Crusader, we're going to maximize that as well. And we're going to maximize Pain Tolerance. It's not a ton of damage reduction, although as you start getting lower in health, it becomes a lot. Um, we're going to need a way to kill trash, and our way to kill trash is still going to be Deadly Barrage. So we're going to spray and pray to kill them off. And we're going to use Chemical Mine. And we're going to put Sticky on there just for that extra little bit of damage. And that's the only other one-pointer that I'm going to use. Now you can definitely go an Explosive Rocket. There's a ton of extra damage going in there. Uh, flashbangs. You can go these other routes if you want. I'm just going this way. And because I'm probably going to stay farther away from the mob than closer because of the way the game has gone, I'm going with Impact Shot to slow it and try to keep it away from me and do damage at range. And I'm just going to confirm that, and that will be all my picks. Put my Impact Shot. I don't need that here. I need that actually here. And that's perfect where that is. I just need this down there. And unfortunately, um, crit and brutal just don't pay. So driven by vengeance doesn't pay so much for me. I'll show you what I mean. Right now at the lower levels, 460 is giving me 20%. If we were higher level, and I've got tons of crit on my, well, not tons, but if we were higher level, this would be nothing. I got, uh, got 1,600 or so on Loki, and it's not even 20%. So, I mean, it really gets killed as we get up in the levels, which is why I'm not going for it as hardcore. Um, defense rating, like I said, we're sitting at 30%. We have no dodge. There's no dodge in there. Even though we got tenacity, we have no uh, resistance to any of these abilities. So tenacity is currently not broken, or currently broken. And because we're such a low level, damage rating is really paying out. Uh, 500 damage rating is giving us the 25% extra damage. So when we get higher level, all the bell curves start really tapering in on us. So as you can see, I really went for plus damage here. This is giving me on my range powers. We got all range powers going on. Uh, spirit regeneration. And then I really need health regeneration, but I don't really play him. I don't have good gear 
So I'm going to stick to a level 30. And level 30 is going to be Mr. Sinister. There's no buffs to put up on him. He's just shoot and do spray and pray. But I found out one of his nickname, nicknames is Mr. Smith. So we've changed the build to Mr. Smith. Oh, I leveled. Well, that's going to get a little bit easier. And then we got the blues. We're going to put down the mine. Let him get stuck and stick in it. And spray him down. I really lowered the fire rate on these. Test it was much higher. I went for it. It was like four per second. But it's got some knockback to it because of the, the artifact we chose. He's one that I think still needs a lot of work. He was much better in test, but his numbers were much higher. They lowered his numbers quite a bit. He's probably the lowest performing character out there. Sorry, Punisher players. No love. Now, I could go shotgun blast and go all close range. I might as well. I'm getting swarmed. I can't kill these things off fast enough. His numbers were much higher in the test, especially with these skills. So this one didn't pan out as well. It still works. I'm always in support with you. And so it's functional. A lot better if you had a tank. Let's see what level he was. Uh, 33? Oh, he was my level. So I leveled right into him. And that doesn't help. But that's the Punisher and that's Mr. Smith. Unfortunately, you guys are probably the most lowest performing one there is. Sorry. Money's not bad. It still works. So I hope it helps. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later.